on the CSC News, I'm Dan, and I guess we are today the National Forest Service Ranger Miss. So Ranger Miss, what do you have to tell us today about accounting tourism in the National Parks and Forests? Well, just recently, a pair of giant sequoia trees fell into the National Forest here in California along the trail of all 100 giants, and it's causing a big stir. Wow, was somebody hurt when they fell? No, not at all. Some guests to the park did actually see them toppling, though. What a sight they must have been. The trees were over 300 feet tall when they fell and 1,500 years old. Whoa, that would have been some bit amazing to see. So are you there here to tell us why they fell? Did they get sick? Is it because of human intervention? Is it global warming? What do we humans do and how? how and how can we fix it? Actually, we have no idea why they fell. It seems like the trees were healthy. They could, could have fallen because of some hum human impact. We don't even understand. But maybe it didn't have anything to do with you. Sometimes things just happen in the wild. But wait, isn't that trail of a hundred giant part of the National Monument? Aren't we supposed to preserve it for the future generations? Now that's the trick. What are we preserving? Are we trying to ensure that no tree ever falls or nothing ever changes in our national parks or forests? If so, we're in big trouble because na nature is always changing with or without human intervention. <laughs> oh, so we can't preserve national parks and forests? We can by not polluting them or developing them and by setting them apart as special places where human intervention is at the minimum. But should we stop change that happens naturally or try to slow it down? How can we tell what changes are natural from ones caused by humans? These are hard questions that we can ponder almost every day. I have no idea. I think you'll ask some more questions today than you answering the range of this. It's true. It's a lot to consider. Maybe that maybe the interview will inspire young scientists in your audience to think about the issues too. Well, thanks for the brain food, Ranger Miss. Thanks for having us today. This is CSC News. I'm Danya, and this is my guest, Ranger Miss. Okay. Look.